this individual, he was like a potter or a carpenter, like I said, and he used to fashion idols and he made his children go around selling them. He made his children go around selling them. I mean, Ibrahim والسلام, he had siblings. So they used to go around and sell the idols and bring back the, 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 the revenue, the, the profits, whatever it is, they used to bring it back and give their father. Now Ibrahim والسلام, was also entrusted to go and sell idols. And you know what he, what he used to uh, do? He used to take the idols, go to the marketplace and he would say, who wants to buy idols? that won't harm you or benefit you. Or he used to say, who wants to buy idols that only harm you and not benefit you? This is how he used to market the idols. So nobody would buy from him. And eventually, he never ended up selling any of the idols. And every single day, his father used to beat him up. Why aren't you selling the idols? Why aren't you selling the idols? So he used this as an opportunity to try and invite his father towards the truth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions how diplomatically Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam tried to invite his father with a lot of respect, with a lot of kindness. Allah says in the Noble Quran in Surah Maryam, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِبْرَاهِيمَ إِنَّهُ كَانَ صِدِّقًا نَبِيًّا And mention and remember in the book, in the Quran, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam, Verily, إِنَّهُ كَانَ صِدِّقًا نَبِيًّا He was a man of truth. And he was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. إِذْ قَالَ لِأَبِيهِ يَا أَبَتِ لِمَا تَعْبُدُ مَا لَا يَسْمَعُ وَلَا يُبْصِرُ وَلَا يُغْنِهِ عَنْكَ شَيْئًا And remember when he said to his father, Oh my beloved father, why do you worship something that cannot hear you, something that cannot benefit you in any way? Why are you worshipping these sticks and stone? Right? And then the conversation goes on. Ya abati inni qad ja'ani min al-ilmi ma lam ya'tika fattabi'ni ahdika suratan sawiyya. Oh my father, verily there has come to me knowledge. In the sense, he's talking about the revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There has come to me of knowledge that which has not come to you. So follow me and I will guide you to a straight path. Ya abati la ta'budi shaytan. Oh my beloved father, look every single time. Oh my beloved father, oh my beloved father. La ta'budi shaytan. Do not worship shaytan. So obviously shaytan is our sworn enemy, shaytan. Ya abati la ta'budi shaytan. Don't worship shaitan. Inna shaitana kana lirrahmani asiyya. Shaitan has been a rebel against the, the most beneficent Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Shaitan is our sworn enemy at the end of the day. So he was highlighting this to his father. And the conversation went on until finally the father, Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam's father, looks at him and asks him very sternly, Araghibun ansa an alihati ya Ibrahim. Do you reject my gods, O Ibrahim? And he says, If you do not stop this, I will most definitely stone you. Allahu Akbar. Look at how he's retaliating. Look at how he's replying to his son. But, but Ibrahim, والسلام, he maintained that respect, that kind way of approaching his father. But his father loses it. And he says, If you don't stop, I'm going to stone you, wahjurni maliya. So get away from here before I punish you, before I stone you. Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam realizes that this is the last straw. He looks at his father and he says, Qala salamun alayk. Fine. Peace be upon you. Sa'astaghfiru laka rabbi. I will ask forgiveness of my Lord for you. Innahu kana bi hafiyya. Verily, he is unto me the most gracious, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Um, he leaves.